celebrity, there are going to be 425,000 ordinary people. Director Steven Spielberg said, This is the greatest thing that has happened in a publicly organized way since Woodstock. Spielberg, of course, was talking about hands across America. Celebrities by the dozens joined other Americans by the millions yesterday to raise money for the homeless. Here is our Coast to Coast report. Just about every known variety of New York celebrity lent a hand to bring the plight of the hungry and homeless to national attention. Show business luminaries, as usual, were quick to show their famous faces and their moral support. I think it's a kind of event that symbolically just really inspires people and, and gives them a real sense of purpose and contribution. People are always ready to help if they can see how. Standing up to be counted also were high church dignitaries and elected officials like Mayor Ed Koch and Governor Mario Cuomo. Their presence underscored the day's message. When ordinary people start the bandwagon rolling, the Washington politicians better get on board. But despite some of the inevitable grandstanding and carnival-like atmosphere that attends even the noblest causes, the emphasis remained on the right things. I think that the hungry and the homeless are the stars here today. Barbara Hauer in New York. In Washington, the addition of the nation's first hands at the White House lent that much more spirit to the thousands who lined up here. The money flowed in for the cause, as did the stars. When the individual wills something to happen, it will happen, and that's what we're learning here. I think what it symbolizes and displays the fact that we still have the American spirit. Hopefully it is the kickoff and the start of something great. I think we have to keep this up more than just today, though, right? D.C.'s lines were jammed around the monuments in overflowing loops, thanks to a surplus of six times the number of people needed. So Washington, with more than its fair share of hungry and homeless, turns out more than its fair share of hands. Peter Quinn Hackis in Washington. In Chicago, hands stretch from the Indiana State Line up the city's south side into downtown Michigan Avenue. the chain with Chicago's mayor Harold Washington and Oscar nominee and talk show host Oprah Winfrey. I think the spirit of it is great. I think I think the whole idea and the spirit of it and perhaps maybe it helped to raise the consciousness of, of people in this country toward the plight of the homeless and, and hungry. And the miles paid for so what the heck. <laughs> From here, the line went north, then west, then south into the state of Missouri. On Chicago's Michigan Avenue, this is Mike Lederman. Under the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, celebrities returned to their hometown and were anxious to get started. I think as soon as everybody gets in line, including you all, it's going to be great. I think it's important for every single person to take a part, not just me, I think everyone. I do. Good enough, guys. Come on, let's get ready. In Memphis, Tennessee, clearing skies boosted the spirits of thousands of middle Americans who continued the human chain just south of its midway point. is wonderful and the cause god bless america i love it one young couple chose this historic event as the perfect time to tie the knot to the delight of the more than 2,000 people who spanned the bridge across the mighty mississippi and passed their determination to eliminate hunger along to the western states in memphis elaine gannick entertainment tonight in dallas Thousands from the Lone Star State left their barbecues behind to become part of the human chain as it headed west. While he may have left his heart in San Francisco, Tony Bennett's hands were firmly in the grasp of Texas. This is a dream come true because the whole idea was to get everybody together to participate in helping one another in the United States. And lately people aren't talking too much to one another and this, uh, this is why this is such a great event. When Kenny Rogers arrived in Tucumcari, New Mexico, he was greeted by the lieutenant governor. Hi, governor Mike Reynolds. Welcome nice to, to New Mexico you. and Thank hands you. across America. Thank you. And as his motorcade moved out along Route 40, he was greeted by thousands of fans until he reached the Texas state border, where he was greeted in true Texas style. And where the two states meet, he found plenty of hands doing the same thing. As good a time as any to join in.
under any conditions, this is a major success, not only for the charity, but for the country as well. Anytime you can get whatever the, the total figure will be, whether it's three, five million people together to agree on one thing in this country, you've done something major. And in full agreement with Kenny Rogers was fellow country singer Lee Greenwood. Extremely happy about it. Hello, America. We love you. Although the excitement of this event ended shortly after Kenny Rogers left, all those involved seem to feel the spirit will live for a very long time. Al Owens reporting from the Texas-New Mexico border for Entertainment Tonight. Celebrities also turned out in blistering heat near Navajo, Arizona, to stand in what was officially the toughest mile of the Hands Across America line. I can hear because it's one of the hottest miles. I figured this would be the hardest mile to get people to be in, so I decided I'd be more worthwhile standing in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> At the California-Arizona border, residents of Blythe, California, joined hands with celebrities to celebrate the special day. So many people supporting each other. It's fantastic. I think it's about time we all got together and looked at ourselves. Well, I'm just wondering how many other people are doing this. It's fabulous. On the West Coast in West Hollywood, Olivia Newton-John joined the line, as did Catherine Bach, Sarah Purcell, and number five, the robot from the movie Short Circuit. When organization broke down, improvisation took over. In Long Beach, California, over 4,000 miles and 4 million people from where it began, this was the end of the line in the shadow of the Queen Mary. No shortage of patriotic hand holders here. The line was in places five people deep as celebrities joined the crowd for the final countdown. Five, practicing pop politics. But for that moment when hands were joined in line, Ken Cragen and company had done it. And despite the problems, history was made. And in spite of their faults, the voices of America were heard from coast to coast. I'm Lisa Gibbons for Entertainment Tonight in Long Beach, California. Video porn and its newest customer. The start of a new series, The Women of Porn, when we come back. A sphincter says what? What? Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. 